Spider-Man did it, Scream did it, Creed did it, and a whole bunch of other properties now have decided to go back to the well and bring back the original talent for updated movies, and that's exactly what's happening with the I Know What You Did Last Summer franchise. Yeah, the films that came out in 1997 and 1998 are now getting another sequel, uh, and, and Jennifer Love Hewitt and Freddie Prince Jr. are in talks to return. I mean, why not at this point, right? Like, let's 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 find out more, shall we? Because this is such an interesting story to me. So, Sony Pictures is now in early talks to produce a sequel to the 1997 horror film "I Know What You Did Last Summer." Jennifer Caitlin Robin will direct the film. Jennifer Love Hewitt and Freddie Prince Jr. are in talks to reprise their roles. Leah McKendrick will write the script, and Neil H. Morris is in talks to return as a producer. This guy's like a super producer in Hollywood. Look up his roster sometime. It's very interesting, the stuff he's been involved in. But I I, I, I do believe in Neil H. Moritz. He is the one who brought us the Sonic movies. So you know what? No matter what happened with Fast and Furious, I give him credit for Sonic. Now, the film will feature the original cast members as well as adding a new generation of cast members to the ensemble, obviously in hopes of continuing things like Scream, because we went from 2011 to 2022 without a Scream movie. Scream 5 comes out, does very well, and now Scream 6 is right on the horizon just a little over a year later. Now, also, uh, what's interesting about the I Know What You Did Last Summer films is that combined between the first one in 1997 and the sequel, I Still Know What You Did Last Summer in 1998, the movies did earn a combined box office gross of about $209 million, which I don't like to adjust for inflation, but in late 90s money, that was pretty good. That was actually pretty good. And what's really fascinating about this is this is coming like a little over like a year and some change after there was the Amazon reboot of the franchise, but that was actually based on the 1973 novel by Lois Duncan. And it was a modern take on the original and follows a group of friends who are stalked by a brutal killer one year after covering up the car accident. The series went through its first eight episodes and then it was canceled before going on to season two. I recall it being a little bit too modern for some people to get into. I don't really know, more Gen Z-ish if you will. And I don't know if this movie is going to have a lot of the same problems, because if you take the old, the Jennifer Love Hewitt, the Freddie Prince Jr. characters, and you put them into modern times, you have to update them, but also have interesting and compelling characters to be stalked by the man with the fishing hook, right? And I think that's going to be something that should be very fascinating. This could be a, a good revival of, of, of a good horror franchise. I mean, who's to say what could be happening next? Maybe they're going to reboot Urban Legend. That could be kind of fun. They just did a, tr a trilogy of Halloween movies that had middling you know, results, in, in my opinion, but it's still overall enjoyable. So we're kind of in this horror rebirth type or, you know, reboot phase of things from 20, 30 years ago. And part of me is OK with that. But another part of me is like, look, you've got movies like Megan, which was pretty decent. Um, you had movies like Terrifier um, by Barbarian. You know, you have like original horror films. Skinema Rink is right now in theaters. You know, there's a lot of original horror movies that are out there that I think are really kind of are, are taking things to a new level. And so it seems really weird to me that Hollywood is still like, no, 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 let's go back to that nostalgic well. But it seems to be working because no one out there seems to be saying no. They seem to be pulling in some serious cash, uh, playing on those member berries. And that just makes everybody feel how warm and fuzzy as they get older and closer to death. But anyway, your thoughts about this, let me know down in the comments section whether you're happy for this, you're upset about this, or if you're in the middle. I want to know your thoughts. We'll probably talk more about it on Hollywood After Dark, which will be here tonight on the show. Uh, please uh, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I'll talk to you guys later. Have yourself a great day and peace out.